that I ignore the fact that I have something from that. This video is going to be like a reading journal of the year, I guess. Uh, 2023. It's currently actually still 2022. Uh, probably not going to do this video next year, but like, uh, <laughs> there's a reason I'm doing it this year, basically. I have a bunch of books, and I'm like, I don't know what to read next, so I asked my mum to pick 12 random books from my shelf, and she wrapped them up, and um, I'm going to try to, it's like a book advent calendar, I'm going to try to read one a month, yeah. so I'm going to start it today, two days early technically, but well, I'm currently reading um, Crimson Rivers, which is like a regular X Hunger Games. Oh my god, do I love it. It is so good. So I might not actually read this until next year, but we're going to open it today. It's wrapped up with like the cardboard. The wrapping paper is over. That's fun, but... Uh, I, I, uh, oh. It's hard. Oh my god, I can't open it. Hold on. Oh! I've actually already read this, but I got How to Make Friends in the Dark for I Look Like a Gerbil for Christmas. I'm gonna just read the other one. But yeah. Yeah. This, if it's anything like You'd Be Running Out and Go in Pieces, I can finish this super quick because I love those books. I didn't finish Go in Pieces that quickly because I was reading it during um, GCSEs. I read You'd Be Running Out in like, I don't know, like four days or something. Four days, yeah, like four days. So, this should be an easy read, as long as it's like the other books. If it's good like those, I gave this both five stars, those are like top tier books. If it's good like those, I can finish this very quickly then. Um, should I read the blurb? Let's read the blurb. Here's How to Make Friends of the Dark, Dark. How to Make Friends of the Dark by Kathleen Glasgow. <clears throat> I thought I was done with death, at least a little bit, but death wasn't done with me. It's always been Tiger and her mother against the world. Then, on a day like any other, Tiger's mother dies. Now it's Tiger alone, and she must learn to make friends with the dark. What one screams grief more? I think this one. I'll use this one. I haven't ever used this one. Yeah, so I will update you when I start reading it, how long it takes me, how good the book is, all of that. So, I'm having to take a little pause from How to Make Friends with the Dark. I have a project in college to make a documentary and I decided to make mine about the accuracy of Greek mythology within Percy Jackson so in order to do that I need to be well acquainted with Percy Jackson so ta-da should be easy I mean it's a children's book and it's a story I already know I love so yeah anyway I read the first line, I was like, oh, it's the line. Look, I didn't want to be heavy, but yeah, I finished The Lightning Thief today. But, ignore what I said earlier, I won't be reading the rest of the books like straight away. Because I changed my documentary idea, so I don't have to read them anymore. Like, I'm still going to read them, and hopefully this year, but they're more like a back up, back up, yeah, anyway, so I'm going back to reading, um, how to make friends of the dog, the last 165 pages of this book, 165, over here, um, very good, that's a very cute ending, um, so since it's the, what day is it, the 28th, that means February is only in two days, three days, whatever, Here's number two, it's actually wrapped up in actual wrapping paper. Oh, don't know why I made that noise. But let's see what this is. <laughs> Ooh, what's it gonna be? It's like a big book. A big hard one. A big hard one. It's a hard cover. It's blue. Spoiler. She's struggling a bit. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, what is it? I actually knew it would be this, so I've made plans. So, this isn't a reading book. It's an escape room puzzle book. So, it's a puzzle book. It's not... You can't read it. Right. So, what I have done is made a plan. So, I already know that I have two 
of my worst witch books in the pile somewhere so <laughs> i'm just gonna read the worst witch instead and i have these three because i know i'll finish them straight away because it's kids books like how big they're writing it's also pictures they're tiny so i'll finish it like in one reading anyway if i don't that's sad so there's only the first three because the fourth one is wrapped up and then the last one is wrapped up so i have to read these three and then just wait until i get the fourth one and then once i get the fourth one i can read the fifth and sixth and then yeah these are very cool colors i thought they go together very well even though they definitely don't you know what i mean yeah so i read and finished the first verse which the other day but i forgot to film like a video saying that i did um today i bought two more books because why not it was two seven pound that's good so we got we have reached the room, which is on my Christmas list. <laughs> yeah, it's about a girl. Right. Yeah, it's about a girl whose boyfriend dies and then she calls him a bunch of stuff and then it's like she has to decide between stop calling him and letting his like uh, something something something. Then this one. This is I will kill you. Which I read the blurb off today and I was like, that sounds good. So I got it. And this is um five like party five people someone died and the truth was never revealed um but and they all go to this house because they're like oh we're entering a competition but no it's someone trying to get the truth or something along those lines so we'll see if i read those this year um take your bets i'm gonna say i think i might i think i might read one this year just might not be for a while right half finished yesterday finished today yeah i just read the uh a bad spell for the worst witch um got some books so we got hex appeal which is um i forgot what it's about but i read it somewhere once and it sounded really good so i got that and then this is the league of gentlemen gentlewomen witches but this one i read the blurb of today so i found as well and it sounds quite good so there's those it's march 1st which means it's a new month so i'm gonna open the new thing the heck it's hard I'm going to open it, but I'm not actually going to read it yet. Not until I finish the second page, Jackson. But I'm thinking it's a West Wish book, but it's hard. I don't know. Oh, it is. It is. It's a West Wish book. Oh. Okay, good. This is the next one in the series as well. I finished the second book. I also bought a book today. This one. I finished the Westwood Odyssey today. And then I also read Saves the Day. It's April 1st. I already know what this one is, because as you can see, the wrapping paper is a bit see-through. This is about a person whose mum is dead. So they go to the last place she was seen to figure out what happened, but then she uncovers more than what she wanted. Yeah. I started reading The Fun Girl yesterday, a couple of days ago, I don't know, and I read like 10% of it, and then I finished it today. Yeah. Oh my god. I bought two new books today from H&B. 
one is about the history. And this is um like a comedy autobiography thing. I started reading this on when did I start reading it? On the fifth. I bought this. It's a bunch of short stories. Like fairy tales, but different. Hello guys. So it was my birthday. Well, I mean, not was, it is my birthday today. Um, I got some books, so I'm going to give you a little bit cool. We got um, the Chasse Me series. Got all of those, so now I have to buy the novellas. Um, and then we also got the selection. Call Me By Your Name. Um, I watched the film recently I loved it so I want to read the book Midnight Everwood I honestly forgot this was even on my list but it's about a ballerina who's doing like a show and then gets transported into into the show I think then Electra I've heard so many great things about this on TikTok and I love I freaking I'm obsessed with like Greek mythology and stuff like that and then I got another two books, which are the last books. It's like an ongoing series. They're all sort of standalone books, but like they're a series. Um, the Twisted Tales collection. And I have every single one up until these two, which I now got. Uh, so now I have When You Wish Upon a Star, which is the Pinocchio one. And then, oh, the newest one, which I'm so excited for. Because this is my favourite Disney film ever. Um... Other than the Aristocats and Fox and the Hound, this is my favourite Disney film freaking ever. Almost there. It's the Princess and the Rogue One. I'm so excited. So I finished Tales All This Time yesterday. Um, and now I'm opening my main book on the 28th of May. But that is because I already knew what it was. And I already know what next month is as well. But trust me, for the next six... I'm not going to see what they are. The only reason I like I looked at what next month is is because I wanted to take it on holiday and also see if it was a sequel. Then like that would be stupid, right? And then this one I sort of just saw. So let's open it. I'm going on holiday not tomorrow, but the day after. So I'm opening this now because obviously I know what it is, and I'm gonna like read it all in one. I'll hold it up when I... Why is this so difficult? Um, oh no, it's just like... Dun, dun, dun. Ta -da. How to shoot the magical beasts. Number three. Okay, I have 7%, so I have to do this quickly, but I finished Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo today, and crazy plot twist, what the heck. So, let's open our July one, it's the 2nd of July right now. I feel like this is going to be radio silence. That's what I'm feeling. Let's see. Oh, I need to show you the opening, why do I always do this? I'm just stay up for hours. <sighs> oh, it's not. Oh, it's Frozen Charlotte. Okay, this is one of Maisie's books. The writing's very spacious. This should be fine. Suella Book Club. Okay, let me find a bookmark to match. Someone's dead or a ghost or whatever. So this could work. Or I have this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, that's the book. I read and finished Rosa Charlotte in technically one day. So, um, I'm whispering, so I really hope you can hear me, but I finished reading Rosa Charlotte within 24 hours. Like, I finished it the next day. It was very good. 
guys over at Rizzo's house and I want to read. I'm actually just so good at remembering to record this video. I completely forgot to record this video but I started the love hypothesis four days ago and I finished this guy's everywhere three days ago. So that's where we're at. I finished reading Wonder today. Amazing book. And now I really want to watch the film. I totally forgot to mention this because I forgot that it like counts. But I found an audiobook on YouTube and it's somewhere temporary. So I'm listening to that. Completely forgot to update this video because I'm making a TikTok video to be reading this week. I look bored. Okay, so on the 22nd, I started Without Merit and I finished it on the 29th, 8th, 28th, yesterday. And then yesterday, I also read the um, Ferris the Wall. Wicked Collection Snow White book and then today I read The Beast Within one and then the Poor Unfortunate Soul one and I started A Witch in Time so I finished A Witch in Time yesterday no yeah. No, I finished Witch in Time thirty first, and then I started um the first no the third Percy Jackson on the thirty first, and I finished it yesterday, and I'm starting the, the fourth Percy Jackson today. I finished the fourth Percy Jackson book yesterday, twentieth of September. Yeah. Here's the oh. September. Now I'm really confused about this because I know that The Worst Witch is one of the books wrapped up and that's a little teeny book but there's two teeny books this month and next month and I have no clue what the second one could even be. So if this is The Worst Witch then I'll stay continued for a month but if it isn't I will not. I genuinely have no clue what the second book would be. I don't have a lot of small books. What is this? Oh my god. This is not a book. This is, I didn't, I forgot I even had this. This is not a reading book. This is a book you write in. Oh my god. So we have no, we have no September book. Well, 
I'll just listen to Summer, Summer Temporary. I want to finish it. I have an hour and a half left of the audiobook. It's so long and so boring. First of October. So let's open this. I know what it is. It's the worst one. The last one. Voila. Uh, red and finished. I don't need. I finished reading the um. Well, not read. I mean um. That thing. That one down there. I finished it. Not November's book, which I already know what it is. I know what the next two are now, but yeah. Um, but I don't want to read this anymore yeah and it's not my book so it's not like i bought a book just to not read it it was m my dad got it from like a charity shop but i realized i don't want to read it anymore especially because it's three books and i just don't feel like it this is what it was except obviously i would have read this because this is the first book but i don't want to so what i'm gonna read is just the last percy jackson book that's what I'm going to read for this month. I want to finish the series before the show comes out. But I'm not going to start reading it now. I started reading the final Miss Jackson book on, on Tuesday. Whatever day that was. Just finished it. finished they both died at the end just read and finished this one off last book of the year 